Hello everyone. Now let's discuss the concepts of thermodynamics system. In thermodynamic system, we will discuss the basic concept or basic definition of thermodynamic system and its type. So let's discuss the basic definition. Here, this word is representing thermodynamic system. So these words having different meaning. Thermodynamics, as I discussed, it is related to heat and heat energy and heat energy transfer and the conversion of energy into work and in simple word we can say it is related to temperature difference now let's come to the system now what is system system we can define anything which is made up of matter now what is matter so matter is anything which has mass and which occupies some space in short we can say the term which is having mass and volume that is called matter so everything made up of matter even if we say atom and any kind of compound so it is also made up of matter so if you have any kind of object suppose there is a stone so that is also made up of matter any kind of automobile it is made up of matter any container it is made up of matter even the human body is also considered it is made up of matter. So the system which is made up of matter or it is having some quantity of matter that is called the system. And thermodynamic system is what? Any system which is under the application of heat. So thermodynamic system we can define as a quantity of matter in space which is subjected to any kind of heat or which is subjected to temperature and temperature difference. So this is the basic definition of system. So in simple word we can say system is a definite quantity of matter. If we say simple definition of system and thermodynamic system which is related to temperature, temperature difference, heat, heat transfer and the transfer of energy into work, these terms are involved. So here this particular diagram you can see this diagram is representing a system. It means it is a kind of body. So this is a closed object. And external to this closed object, whatever you can see, that is the surrounding. Suppose if you are standing in a ground, so and there is nothing in the ground. So for that particular condition, you are the system and around you, everything is surrounding. Suppose you are in a swimming pool or if you are in a river and if you are swimming in a river, so in your surrounding what other thing which we we can see that is the water only so for that particular condition you are the system and the whole water is the surrounding so this is a system which is made up of definite quantity of matter this is representing the system and everything else around the system is called surrounding and the thing which is differentiating this system and surrounding it is called the boundary. So in simple word, we can say system and surrounding both are separated by the boundary. And this boundary can be fixed or it can be moving type. The boundary will not always fix. It can be fixed or it can be a moving type of boundary. And all these things, system, surrounding and the boundary which is separating system and surrounding, if we combine all these things, it is making the universe. So this is the basic definition of system, surrounding and boundary. Now here, when we apply temperature application or heat application, so the system will become thermodynamic system. Now let's discuss the basic types of thermodynamic system. So there are three types of thermodynamic system we consider. One is the closed system, other is the open system and third is the isolated system. So one by one I will discuss these things here. So as you can see 
it is written here in front of closed system m equals to 0 so this m is representing the mass so m is 0 means there is no mass so this is not true mass will not be 0 but the transfer of mass will be 0 inside the system but energy transfer is possible now in open system mass transfer is possible as well as energy transfer is possible now in third type of system isolated system neither energy transfer nor mass transfer is possible so these three types of system we have to learn now let's discuss one by one about these kind of systems so first i will discuss about the closed system so in closed system you can see this diagram so this particular diagram is representing a system which is made up of fixed quantity of matter it can be anything the system can be anything now here you can see if we want to transfer the mass from this side to or if we want to enter some mass inside the system and the mass is not entering and this mass is also not leaving the system so this particular type of system is called closed system there is no transfer of mass from the system to the surrounding as well as from surrounding to system this particular system is called closed system right and here the mass transfer is not possible but if we want to transfer the energy so energy transfer is possible from system to surrounding and from surrounding to system so this is also considered as closed system across the boundary this transfer will happen so what is closed system mass transfer is not possible from surrounding to system or from system to surrounding but energy transfer is possible from system to surrounding and surrounding to system so this is called closed system suppose if you have a closed container which is filled up of water this container is filled of water now if you are providing heat or if you are applying some temperature over this object so what will happen since this is a closed container in that case heat will transfer into the system and it will heat this water and the temperature of water will increase but since this particular object is completely closed so this particular water which is converting into steam will not goes away from this particular closed object it will not come out from the object but heat will transfer from here to surrounding surrounding to system the heat is transferring or the heat we consider as the form of energy so energy is transferring and if we are removing this particular temperature application so from system to surrounding this heat will transfer so here energy transfer is possible but this object is completely closed there is no way to remove the water or to remove the steam so the volume of the water will not change so here there is no mass transfer happening or we are not adding any kind of other matter or any kind of water inside this particular object so there is no mass transfer is possible but in terms of heat the energy transfer is possible so this is called a closed system now let's discuss another system that is open system so as you can see suppose this is our system and if we want to transfer the mass inside the system from the surrounding or if we want to transfer the mass from system to surrounding so it is possible so mass transfer can be possible from system and mass can be entered into the system from the surrounding so this particular kind of system is called open system now let's come to the energy so energy transfer is also possible from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so this particular system is called open system here mass transfer is also possible and the energy transfer is also possible suppose we have any object or any container 
which is connected with one pipe and we are filling water inside this container and there is some outlet also we are providing and the water is entering from here and the water is leaving this container from here so this is the entry point and this is the outlet point and simultaneously we are providing heat to the container so here the mass of the water is entering inside the container from here and leaving from the container to the surrounding. So the mass transfer is possible here as well as heat is also transferring in the form of energy inside the container as well as when we remove this heat application so it will leave the container also it will leave the heat into the surrounding. So everything is possible mass transfer is possible from system to surrounding or surrounding to system as well as heat transfer or energy transfer is also possible. So this is called open system. If we see any example of open system, so we can say air compressor. So in air compressor, air enter at the low pressure and uh, it will also out at high pressure and in air compressor, energy transfer is also possible across the system boundary. So air compressor is one of the example of open system. Steam turbine can be considered as the uh, example of uh, open system there the heat transfer is possible inside the system and from the system to surrounding as well as the water is circulating it is converting in the heat and it is converting into the steam and the steam is again converting into water and coming to the boiler so circulation is continue from water to steam and from steam to water because of different processes as well as heat application is also there so turbines are also considered as the example of open system so this is about open system now if we see isolated system so this is the third type and you can see the word isolated isolated means there is no transfer so if we see any kind of system and if we are providing insulation to the system suppose we are insulating this particular system so in that case if we provide heat so heat will not transfer from surrounding to system because of the insulation and if we are not able to transfer the mass from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so here neither energy transfer is possible nor mass transfer is possible so mass transfer is zero and energy transfer is also zero that particular system is called isolated system here as i told you about the container which is filled of water or any kind of liquid and if we are insulating the surface of this container this surface of the container is heat insulated in that case heat will not transfer heat will not transfer from surrounding to system and if we are not applying heat so it will not come out from system to surrounding as well as this is completely closed system so we cannot put any kind of mass inside the system so here neither mass transfer possible nor energy transfer possible here no mass transfer and no energy transfer is possible from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so this particular system is called isolated system so here this particular system we can define as closed system with no energy closed system with no energy so these three type of systems we have to learn in thermodynamics now let's see some more types of thermodynamic system so in this category the next thermodynamic system is adiabatic system so adiabatic term we generally define with q equals to zero q equals to zero means there is no heat transfer from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so this system we usually define when there is no heat transfer from surrounding to system or system to surrounding so that particular system is called adiabatic system but here work transfer will be possible so if we consider here a particular system this is our system so neither heat is entering into the system nor heat is coming out from the system so no heat transfer is possible in this particular system so usually we provide
provide insulation in different types of system so that insulation is defined as the adiabatic system but here work transfer is possible so work can be transferred from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so this type of system is called adiabatic system example we can take as thermos flask so usually if we put hot water or hot tea in thermos flask so neither the heat is coming out from the thermos flask to the surrounding nor any kind of heat transfer is possible from surrounding to the thermos flask so this is the example of adiabatic system now let's see another type of system that is homogeneous system so this homogeneous system is based on the chemical composition and physical structure of the system so it is defined as a system when the system have only one phase so this one phase is representing the physical structure it is representing the physical properties or physical structure of the system and this physical structure we are not defining on the basis of one substance we are defining this physical structure on the basis of mixture of the substances so if the system have only one phase it can be the mixture of number of substances but the phase will be uniform suppose if we have water and if we are adding salt into the water so the color of the water will be same and the physical composition will not change here chemical composition can be same or it can be differ but physically it will look same so example of the homogeneous system we can take as mixture of water and salt water and sugar and other example we can take in ic engine petrol and air mixture is also considered as the homogeneous mixture so these are the example of homogeneous system where chemical composition can be same or can be different but the physical structure will be same or the system will have only one phase so this is about the homogeneous system now next is heterogeneous system so heterogeneous system is just opposite to homogeneous system when the system has more than one phases if we are considering more than one phases so as an example we can take the mixture of water and oil if we mix water and oil together so because of the density difference we can easily discriminate between the water and oil because of the density difference oil will be on the upper surface of the water or if we mix water and sand so because of the density difference we can easily discriminate between the water and sand so if we are mixing water and oil water and sand that will considered as the heterogeneous system because it will have more than one phases diesel we can also considered as the heterogeneous mixture or the system where we are using the diesel that system we considered as the heterogeneous system so these are three more type of system which is related to thermodynamics Thank you so much.